What you guys got another video how do i open a port on windows pc i'm going to show you how to open a port for your games or applications to be inbound or outbound on your computer using your windows firewall your antivirus firewall and also inside your router so first off starting with a windows defender firewall search for that inside your search box and open up the windows defender firewall now, why would you want to open a port? Well, there's many reasons why you might need to open a port on your computer. It might be you have a Minecraft server, Plex server, or some other device that you want to connect to. So we've got inbound rules and outbound rules. Outbound rules are from your computer to the outside world. Inbound rules are from outside, inside to your computer. So go to new rule on the right hand side here and then click on ports. You've got program port and also we've got some other settings here. We're interested in port because we want to open a port up and you can see here a rule that controls connections for TCP and UDP ports. So we're gonna click on the port option here and now we've got to choose between TCP and UDP. You don't get to choose both here. You have to do it for one or the other. Depending on what you need to do it for will determine on what option you need to select. So sometimes it's both, sometimes it's just TCP, and sometimes it might be UDP. So we're going to choose TCP here because that is what, say, Minecraft would need. Uh, but you may need to do it for some sort of camera or something like that. So you've also got all remote ports or some specific remote port here. So that's what we're going to do. So we're going to put in the port for Minecraft in this case, but yours could be for any port that you want to open. You can do a simple search for whatever it is you want to open a port for, and it will tell you what ports you need to open or port forward. So now we can either block the connection, we can also allow the connection. This includes connections that are protected with IPsec as well as those are not. Also, we have allow connections if it is secure, and you can see here this includes only connections that have been authorized uh, by the IPsec. So choose the option that you want to use. I'm going to use allow the connection. And now we've got when does this rule apply? And you can say this applies to a domain or private or public. And you can read the information there. I'm going to leave all of these check marked and we can then move on. But you can see there's different reasons why you want to have this rule applying to whether it was private, public or domain. Next, you need to give that a name, that rule, so you can easily identify it inside your uh, firewall settings. So we're going to call this, say, for instance, Minecraft. But this could also be called any sort of thing that you're trying to open a port for, whether it'll be a, a, you know, a camera, an IP camera, or whether it'll be Plex server, or whatever it is that you're trying to open a port up for. So let's just put Minecraft in here, and we can give it a description. Uh, it's optional but we'll just call this my Minecraft server just for this video. But again, as I've said, it can be basically for any type of device or application or game. So we're gonna go ahead and put that in here so we can identify it easier. So let's go ahead and click finish. And now we should see on the outbound rules that we do have an entry up there on the top called Minecraft. And if we have a look, at all the information, it should tell us exactly what it's doing. So up the very top, as you can see, we do have an entry for Minecraft and it says profile all, and it says enabled, yes, and it says action, allow, and we can see here a bunch of other settings here that we've just configured. So there we go, they are all of the settings for our Minecraft. Now you can also do inbound if you needed one to have something enter the computer, you need to open a port for that reason. You would do inbound. So it's going out because we're playing the game and running the server on our computer. And we need to let it go out onto the network and out onto the outside world so people can connect to it and play on it. So you can see by right clicking on there, we can change the rule. And I've now disabled the rule. So it's not enabled. It's blocked and they won't be able to connect. You can enable that rule by right clicking and enabling it whenever you feel like it. So if you want to delete it also, you can right click and delete that rule and it will be gone. And that rule for a port forward that you've just set will be uh, deleted. So there you go. That is how you can do that inside a Windows firewall. But what about if you've got an antivirus program 
and it has some sort of software firewall built into it, then you will need to open a port via that method. Let me show you how to do this on ESET because that's the antivirus program I'm running on this computer. Now, each individual software will be different. And if it has a firewall built in, there will be some settings that you can uh, configure to suit your needs. So let's go ahead and click on the setup. And we're, what we're going to do here is we're going to open up the firewall. So what we need to do here inside ESET is just click on one of these and it will show us the actual settings cog here. We can click on, for instance, one of these and it will open up this window. So now we need to look for uh, network access protection and this will be for our firewall. So I'm going to go ahead and click on this. Now, ESET does look quite complicated because there's a lot of settings in here which you can configure and yours might be slightly different. So you just have to find out how to open a port with your firewall. We can see firewall there. We've now clicked on firewall and we now can access the firewall rules. As you can see here, I can click edit and I've already got some rules in place here. I've blocked those out so it doesn't interfere with what I'm showing you. But what we're going to do here is click on add and we're going to add another rule. This will bring us to this rule here where we can name the rule and we can then configure it the way we want. So for instance, if we want to open a port, we would go to local port and we can set this up for a particular type of device that we want to open. So we've got block at the moment. Let's put that radio button in allow. So we're telling this rule that we want to allow whatever it is we configure it for to go through our firewall and our network. So let's go ahead and now choose a, a direction. So as you can see, we can set this up for both TCP and UDP, or we can have it in and out depending on how you want to do that. So let's go ahead and allow this to go both in and out of our computer. And what we're going to do is we're going to go to the next bit, which is our local host. If you add an application, you can click on application, or if you add some sort of remote host, you can do that as well. So inside the local port, uh, what we're going to do here is we're going to basically click on this and give it a port number. So let's stick with the Minecraft theme here, and we'll go ahead and put the port in for, say, for instance, Minecraft. But if it was an IP camera, you can choose one of the other options, or an application, you can choose one of the other options and set it up that way. You just choose it for whatever it is you're trying to set it up for. So we've got IP pro, uh, protocol. We're going for TCP and UDP. And with Windows, you can only do one. So you'd have to create two rules. In this case, we can create one rule for TCP and UDP or vice versa, one of the other ones. So let's go ahead and give it a name. And what we can do here is you can now see we've got this rule running in, in place. So here we have our rule right here. So if I click on this and highlight it, we can go to more filters. So let's go ahead and do that. We can click on this, which is our rule we just created. And what we can do is there's a little tiny link here saying more filters. Yours might be different, but we're going to click on it and it will show us this window here and we can toggle this off and this will hide the built in uh, features here. So let's go ahead and now look at our rule section and you can see we do have some check marks on here for some other things. But the one we're interested in is the Minecraft one, which we just created. So you can see it is enabled by putting the check mark in here. We can edit this if you want to at any time and say block it or change some of the settings if we want to. We can also see that it is allowing traffic to go in and out both directions. And we can also delete that rule if we're finished with it and we don't want it open anymore. It's best to delete things when you're finished with them, especially if it's a port that you've opened physically. That way, it's going to be more secure with having it locked down. So that's now done and deleted. Let me show you the final way, which is inside your router menu and changing it inside your router settings. Now, depending again on what router you've got, and just for you American folks, what router you got will determine how you gain access to the port forwarding. So we're going to give the service name. So we've got it Minecraft here. You can select one of the options available down here. If it's one of these common options, you can give the device IP address. This will be the device IP address of your system. So you need to put that in inside there. So let me go ahead and put just a IP address in here. This is not my IP address, but I'm just going to put it in here just to show you. And we'll go ahead and type this in. So we've got 192.168.1 and 23. 
So you can view your connected devices if you wanted to, but we're going to go external port and that's the external port we want to go out and we've got internal port. So we're just going to put inside here our port. So for instance, 25565, and we can also put this one in the internal port as well, 25565 in there, and we can have protocol as well uh, set in. So let's go ahead and do the internal port and uh, we can move on. So that's done. And now we can choose which protocol, whether you want to do TCP or UDP, or whether you want to do all of them, uh, you can select that here and you can enable this entry by clicking the check mark in there and click save. And you should now see an entry inside here saying status running with the toggle switch there. And you can modify it the same way you would do in a, a firewall setting here. And this is router level uh, port forwarding. But remember, your external and internal ports may be different and you'll need to configure them the way the product or, or device or application wants you to do. And you can delete that after you finish with it if you want to delete it. It's advisable that you don't leave this on all the time once you finish with it, because again, that is a security risk by leaving it open. Once you've got the port setting opened and the way you want it, you can do a simple online port checker to see whether your port has been opened successfully. And you can put your domain or IP address in here, and you can also put the uh, port type and this will be for a custom port and this will be for say for instance server ports or game ports and you can actually see it's already put in the minecraft port right there but you can put your physical port in yourself by putting the number in there but you can see it's already added that in by putting game ports in for us now what you can do once that's done you can uh, scan for all common ports or you can do a scan for your particular a port that you've just opened and that's basically it that's how you can open a port using your windows firewall and your antivirus firewall and also your router uh, what you've got there or router if you live in the states but basically that is how you can do it and it's quite useful to understand opening ports is quite useful for applications and devices or cameras and things like that that you're going to need to open a port for especially if you want to gain access from outside of your network into your uh, computer, remoting and stuff like that, you can set all that up by that method. Anyway, I think that's going to be about it. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Just want to say a quick shout out to all my YouTube members. I appreciate the support and I shall catch you in the very next video or I'll see you on the Discord server for a chat. Have a nice day. Bye for now. <laughs>